20 years ago in July we came through here uh, on our way to No Man Lake and this same uh, fisherman welcomed us to this stopping off place Ennis, Montana July 16, 2016 Water resort. Riftwater Resort. Yeah. And there's Joel. Do you know how to cook corn in the microwave? Yeah, do it right in the husk. You're missing his head. There you go. Right in the husk. Not much. Huh? Oh, look at this. Joel, this is pretty cool. Yeah, I like that sink. Yeah. That is decent. Oh, look at that. You got a coffee pot. Don't get any ideas. Oh, look. oh and someone left you Folgers. Uh, or did microwave? you bring that from Wausau? Mm -hmm. Oh, you have salt here. Salt. And, and look at the cupboard. It's... Oh. And look. There's fish and moose. Moose. Oh, I don't want to do this. Man, look at that view out of the... Hey, did you do any good? Um, no way, am I on film? Hi, you're on film. Are you making a documentary? I'm making a documentary. Cuts, 12 to 14 inch cuts today, that's it. Oh, where'd you go? Uh, Elk Lake. Oh, hike up there? You know where Red Rock is? No. It's in Red Rock, it's oh. a long haul. Oh. Well, it's a long haul for... The fish we caught. Oh, we're going to go to Cameron yeah. uh, Lake. And we went to No Man Lake in 1996. We backpacked into there. Uh-huh. That You ever been there? No. Oh, wow. I've heard of it, though. I've seen it on a map. Oh, oh, man. It's about 13 and a half miles. You got a horse pack in, though. Oh, I, I bet the fish is good, huh? Oh, big cutthroat. State record browns out of that lake. Yeah. Wow. Uh, Yellowstone cutthroat up there. And regular cutthroat. Boy, look at them mountains. Joel, this is God's country. Yeah. He's going to be crying on us. Man. What a place. Yeah, that earthquake lake is just down the road. That quake lake. Here's the sauce. The it looks pretty good. Thank you, this Chris, is all organic oh, everything. All the vegetables and stuff came out of Brock's garden. Oh. And the bison came out of the fields across the way. Uh, Joey got up really early in the morning and shot a bison. Hmm. And then he yeah. skinned it. I think it was roadkill. <laughs> it could be, actually, it could be whistle pig. Beautiful. Whistle pig. And we have corn on the cob. It's a Walmart special. It was 33 cents a piece. Oh, wow. And we put it in the microwave for four minutes, and then we, we have to take all these peels off and put butter and salt on it, and we hope it's done. Yeah. And if I it's hope not, so. too bad. Does it? Did you try any yet? Not oh, yet. yeah, it's good. Wait, corn, no. No. No, we're hoping it's done. Tucker's waiting for something to eat. So. And we got potatoes. We can put them in the microwave or save them for tomorrow. I know Tucker likes pizza, don't you, Tucker? <laughs> this off the table. There's butter for the. Corn. What you reading, Joe? Regulations. Oh, fishing. Yeah. 
Oh, you used up all the onions in it? Yeah, come on. Okay, I'll put this over here to be washed to be used for later. We got butter for the corn. What's this knife for? Uh, washed. Okay. I'll put it over washed. here. Good morning, sunshine. This is what we wake up to in the morning here in Cameron, Montana, Driftwater Resort. Sun shines bright. Dave, this is a good time to do a recon, like you were saying. Yeah. For a different time when you come here. Yeah, it is. This is Earthquake Lake Outlet. This was formed by an earthquake. When the quake occurred, it uh, wiped out a campsite and and several people died. And this is the Madison River that comes out of it. So when the quake occurred, it dammed up the Madison. This is the overlook just below Memorial Boulder for Earthquake Lake. And there's the Madison stretching out into the valley. That's just beautiful. You can see the fracture, how the walls fractured from the quake and just completely blocked the Madison to form Quake Lake and we'll take a walk up to Memorial Boulder Quake Lake formed by the quake here. Drop two hundred feet in twenty seconds. Creek Road headed towards the trailhead for Cameron, Lake Cameron. And this is some of the beautiful scenery along the way. We have to check out the trailhead today for our tomorrow's early morning hike to Lake Cameron.
This is going up the road to Lake Cameron, North Fork Bear Creek Trailhead. And this is a Cam Cameron Lake Trailhead. It's a long, rough road up here. Gonna be walking up into them hills. Okay, North Bear. Lake Trail 6345. That, Dave? Yeah. Then that first dot right there is that sign. Because on here, the trail, the river runs along this trail. This is that river. That dot is that sign. We go up here and stay left, we'll run right into Lake Cameron. That being the case, I don't think, think this is going to be as long of a hike as I was thinking. Because look how far we've already walked. Just this little stretch. Uh -huh. Well, we got to get going early in the morning with a nice and cool. Heading up to the trailhead. Here comes the crew, real close to the trail, we got a ways to go fellas. Can't wait to get there. This is Bear Creek down here. See any bear yet you guys? Don't turn around then. <laughs> okay, North Fork Bear Creek Trail number 324 to Mid Bear Creek Trail number 325. Hear any bears yet? Some scenes along the trail. Time for a break at the falls. Seven twenty one. Yeah. We're doing pretty good then. So we've been out here an hour? About, yeah. Well, like Ron was saying, check the first time we took a picture. Six seventeen. That's when we started. Right, okay. So we've been doing this an hour. Not bad.
it your birthday? Yeah. Whoa! You guys should have said something, man. We could have made a fish cake or something. <laughs> yeah. This is a pretty cool birthday present, I'd say. It's a twin's birthday. How about that? Roast. Feeling good. Nope. A little gentle trail here, walking along a ridge. Let's go, you guys. Walking up the meadow trail. There's Sphinx. And Helmet behind it. Helmet's right in front of Oh yeah, Helmet's in front of Sphinx there. Oh, what do we got there? Black ants? They're kind of busy. you see up there? I'm sure the video can't capture the awesomeness of this when you see it in person. He came right towards you. He thought you were lunch. Well, what do we have here? Yeah, we're done for the day. So a pretty easy hike, huh? <laughs> when you're like my age, it's challenging all the way. Are you going to return your bag when you're done? <laughs> yeah, many pearls still got the bag. <laughs> It smells like sweat. <laughs> a little bit. It's like a plateau right up here. You know, we got kind of crew that sort of lined up here. <laughs> and if anybody gets out of hand, I'm packing a gun. Remember that. Well, should we head up there, Joe? 
Let's go. This is a huge tree. I wonder what kind it is. Almost looks like a giant sequoia or redwood or something. Huge. It's a conifer, anyway. What kind is that, Chris? Huh? Doug fir. That's a Doug fir? Finger coming out. Oh. Kind of different than the ones that uh, grow by in back of our house. They got a little longer cones, but if you notice the new cones coming on in the ends of the branches, you can see the little piece of black. Looks like moss. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's not moss. Remember, moss is green. Yeah, look at all this. It's all blueberry, huckleberry, bilberry. Whatever you want to refer to it. Except no berries. See any blue? And this is pretty in here. a little lake on the left of the trail. So we keep heading down on the trail here. Looks like the final turn down to the lake. Oh, there she be. about to reach Lake Cameron, which is about 7.8 acres. Its elevation is 8,990 feet. Where's my fishing rod? Lake Cameron is located in the Beaverhead National Forest in the Taylor Hill Guard Unit in the Lee Metcalf Wilderness Area. There they are. Oh, there's one over there. 
Chris and Joe. Oh, that's Joe and Connor over there. Oh. Oh. Lake Cameron. Oh, that's a nice one. Wow. That's dinner. Call him up, my child. Call him up. Oh, nice. That's it. That's a Yellowstone cutthroat, I think. Let me see. It's got the yellow. Yep, it's Yellowstone cutthroat. Oh, it might be a cutthroat trout. I don't think you're allowed to eat those. Uh, out of lake you can. Can you? But not out of a stream. Holy cow. Nice. Uh, you're not holding them correct. <laughs> I don't want them to. Uh, you're keeping fish. You're staying. Oh, Here wow. Go. Hot setup. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Why is he looking so weird? This one, I don't think this one got too much. Yeah, he has it. Now. Yeah, he does. This is a rainbow. Oh, this is a rainbow. <laughs> Oh boy. Cool fish. Only the bigger ones actually go out. Oh yeah. That is what got inside, boys. Whoa. Oh no. Bummer. Lake Cameron has both Yellowstone and West Slope cutthroat. These fish are native to Montana. The West Coast cutthroat are stocked about every four years. The last planting of 500 two inch fingerlings of the West Slope cutthroats was in 2022. No. Look look under his gill to see if it's red. It could be a, just a, a regular cutthroat. Let's see. Here. That's a regular cutthroat, see? It's not a Yellowstone cutthroat. It's a planter. It's a good one. Six, and a half. We got something out.
Oh, I think that's another uh, planter. It's a fighter. job. Well, there they are, going down the hill. Yes, on the way back we passed the lake again. Just a few hills to climb. No. There's a bunch of snow on it or anything? Boy, this stretch was burning. Yeah, this was. This is quite a stretch switchback here. I'm Dave. Ron Cavelli! We made it through the boy's birthday. Eight and a half miles, hike up the mountain and doing some fishing. 